I'm Rachel Lane and I'm your Jamberry Consultant. I have put together a little video um, that will help you with your application. Now there's a little bit of a disclaimer here. The application that I'm going to show you is the basic foundational application that I show all of my customers. However, there are about 10-15% of my customers that this, this application, foundational application, does not work for them. If that's you, if you try this basic application method and it doesn't work for you, don't throw out your jams, don't give up on it. Contact me and I can help you troubleshoot because there are tips and tricks that I have to help that 10-15% of you that have issues with this, this method. So if you're ready, let's get started. Here is my little setup. I have my wrap, mini heater, cuticle pusher, the rubber cuticle pusher, the orange stick, a cuticle spoon, tweezers, scissors, alcohol pad, file. I like to always start out by using this spoon cuticle pusher. This thing is amazing, you guys, for getting rid of any invisible cuticle. Yes, we all have invisible cuticle on our nail. You think you've got it all off, but eh, you're wrong, it's invisible. And you can tell when you use this little spoon pusher, if you slide over any parts that are kind of slippery, then you know that you've hit a spot where you've got some invisible cuticle. It's important not to push too hard, use too much pressure on this because you do not want to scrape up your actual fingernail plate, just the cuticle that is on your nail. I do this every single application. It gives me a really um, the best result as I'm applying my wrap. I go up the side as well. And now I'm going to put on my wrap. The great thing about our clear backing is that you can really pick the wrap size that best fits your nail. And you want to find one where you can see a little bit of naked nail on the side. It's always best to go smaller rather than larger. Always, always, always. I say embrace the gap. You want to see some naked nail on the side. Because of the very reason that I'm also using tweezers, you do not want any oils touching that wrap because the oil breaks down the adhesive. That's actually how we remove the wraps, with oil. So I don't want to touch the wrap, and I want to make sure that when I do apply it, that it's not going to touch my skin or my cuticle. Now I have special quote unquote special nails that are fan shaped. They're narrower at the bottom and then wider at the top. So I tend to choose a wrap that fits better at the top and then um, just trim it a little bit on the bottom to make it a bit narrower. And then I check with by holding it with the tweezers, kind of check the size, see if I need to go smaller anywhere. If I've got it even, most people can use the wrap right off the sheet. No trimming needed, but I get to trim all of my wraps in order for them to fit the best. And I'm going to hold it in front of my heater literally like two seconds. Do you see how soft that, that wrap went? How limp it got after I warmed it for just a couple of seconds? My heater is right off there to the side. So when I put it on, I don't press it down right away. I just barely set it on the nail and heat it again and press straight down the middle. You can see I've got wrinkles on the side. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to heat it for two seconds and then press from center down with my opposite thumb. That's going to smooth out that side. Then I'm going to heat the other side for two seconds and then press down, center down on that side. I have to warm it a couple more seconds and use this rubber cuticle pusher to really apply the pressure. Our wraps are heat activated and pressure sealed. So I want to use good pressure all over that wrap to make sure that the seal is watertight and that my wraps are going to be long lasting. And now I've got them all applied and I'm going to file off that, that excess. So when you get ready to file, you want to use your 180 grit file. You don't have to use the one from January, but make sure it says 180 grit. And when you get ready to file your nail, make sure you go straight down only, not back and forth, not side to side, only straight down. You don't have to be slow about it. You can see I really attack it. <laughs> it comes off pretty quickly that way. 
sometimes you have to kind of slant underneath that the corner of your tip of the nail and sometimes I'll stop to check and see if it's actually stuck to my nail or just stuck to my skin because sometimes I'm just filing away and I think it stopped coming off but it's actually just stuck to my skin and there you have it finished nail with it all filed off and perfectly sealed I'm just going to do the same thing on all nails that one. <laughs> I love it. This part is so fun. I always love to look on people's faces whenever they try it the first time. And here's my finished product. My whole full manicure. There it is. Super easy.